So let's talk about the latest uh, distraction. Eleven Republican Democrats have uh, signed on, signed a letter and <clears throat> addressed it to uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, the Honorable Chris Ray, the FBI Director, and the Honorable John Herber, Attorney for the <laughs> District of Utah. All right, so these guys, 11, 11 congressmen, uh, all Republican congressmen signed this letter, right? Everybody's excited about it because, oh, now <laughs> they got them. Pa, they got you, right? Here we go, right? Oh, wait, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath because Clinton and, and the rest of them, they're all going down, right? <laughs> all right, so here's the latest letter. Who's it? Who, who, are they, who are they saying? Who are they saying should be in, indicted, criminally investigated? Who are they saying? Let's see. Let's find out. Find out. James Comey, number one. Then there's, I got, I'm reading the letter. Hillary Clinton, number two. Loretta Lynch, Andrew McCabe, and uh, also Peter Strzok, the FBI guy, and Counsel Lisa Page. All right. Now, I'm saying it jokingly, but would I would I like to see these people? Go, you know, go to prison and 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 um, fess up for what they did. Of course, of course. But is it going to happen? Of course not, because here's eleven congressmen in Congress, right? And how many are there? Like two hundred, three hundred? I don't even know. That is a lot of a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people in the House of Representatives, and only eleven of them are signing on to this thing, and they're making a big stink. And there's no way in hell that that the Senate or the con- Congress is going to move forward with something like this when only 11 knuckleheads stand up and talk about it. So they know it's a lose-lose situation. But what it does do is it distracts people from the real the real issue, which is that they're looting the country. You know, they're looting the country in terms of tax law. In terms, they get the, their tax breaks, right? And now they gave the tax breaks to the 1%. That made a lot of people happy. And now they're, you know, now they're banging on the table saying that the um, it's these entitlement programs. You got to get rid of them. You got to get rid of Medicaid and it's bleeding our country. You got to get rid of these food stamps and welfare. It's, it's blood suckers, right? Meanwhile, they these corporations get more government subsidies, you know, in, in the tunes of the billions of dollars, right? So let, let's look, go a little deeper into this letter, right? So the letter is, um, it's accusing Comey of stuff, Right? Basically, it's it goes back to the, his his handling of the the Clinton uh, investigation, where he 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 found evidence and failed to failed to uh, failed to indict based on the evidence he had he had. What's his crime? He violates eighteen U.S.C. sixteen twenty one. All right. <laughs> we see that the problem um, I find it I find it hysterical because people that I I follow and respect and 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 um, you know admire are still on this bandwagon thinking that that there's that there's going to be this sweeping you know this sweeping criminal break crackdown with all the you know all the big wigs are all going to get dragged off to jail. It just it's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, right? right? Secretary Hillary Clinton, right? She's she's also indicted. This time because of her handling of Fusion GPS, she failed to disclose ma- mandatory Federal Election Commission stuff. Violates fifty two USC thirty twelve one, right? Now Clinton is so in- so incriminated in the in the whole Clinton Foundation, the mishandling of of uh, how they financed the Clinton Foundation, how the money's flowed in, and how she used her position as as Secretary of State to circumvent the the uh, the uh, information laws. Right? She had the server in a basement, and she was doing cutting deals directly with with hostile nations. Right? For favors. Are for you know you are favors for U.S. But there's no indictment there. There's no indictment, right? There's fucking nothing to see there, right? Just get her on the the PP dossier. Right? Stupid. 
Loretta Lynch. It's not stupid. It's pathetic that that we already know all this stuff. Loretta Lynch violates 18 U.S.C. 1505 with with the the uranium one deal. She failed. She she uh, apparently she she um, she intimidated or threatened an FBI informant for disclosing information about the uranium one deal. Then there's of course Andy McCabe. And FBI agents Peter Strzok. I mean, Andy McCabe should be. I mean, he took. He he was the the lead prosecutor, the lead investigator, whatever, in Hillary Clinton investigation, the email scandal, right? And he felt he was he was her next door neighbor. He he McCabe and his wife lived next door to. Hillary Clinton in Chappaqua, New York. Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation, Bill Clinton, gave McCabe $700,000 for, for McCabe's wife to run for a Congress seat where she failed. Right? So these, these are, this, there's so much dirty money flowing around between these people. Right? And we've already known it. The Republicans, are, you know, they're out there. This is their big distraction. So you don't pay attention to the fact that they got this massive, they got their corporations, these massive tax breaks that are going to sink, you know, f- further the, the debt into the trillions of dollars. And now they're going to go after the, the uh, entitlement programs to make a slave nation, to make a, 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 a consistent poverty draft, to drop people deeper and deeper into poverty, right? That's, that's the goal of the Republican Party. Right, so that's their distraction. Their distraction is now their chance because they know that when they when they toot the horn, oh look, the Republicans are on our side. They're going to go after the Clintons, the crooked Clinton, cro- crooked Hillary Clinton, they, right? Loretta Lynch, oh, Drager. They want to see they want to see Comey in handcuffs. They want to see all these people go to jail, right? And then, and they should, but it's not going to change. It's not going to change because this is not policy. These people, they're not talking about policy. They're talking about. They're talking about uh, propaganda and and um, what ifs, you know. So that's their big distraction. They also also don't want to talk about you know the fact that there is you know they spend a trillion dollars a year on the in military industrial complex and we don't have an enemy. It's just it's just a it's a black hole of spending. Keep the you know don't talk about Syria. It's a you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. War is good. Right, the other thing I want to bring up is. Um, I, I'm 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 still you know screaming from the rooftops about this um, the military industrial complex being at the core of the problem and that if children and people ages 17 to 25 defect from the military, we'd have a better shot at bringing the oligarchy down. We'd have almost a hundred percent shot of bringing the oligarchy down. Now what I found that also is at the uh, Parkland right Parkland shooting. I I don't I believe that I believe that the story that that the the uh, official narrative is very different than what actually happened. Was some did kids get shot? Were there bullets flying in the hallway? Definitely, yeah, no doubt. Based on the evidence, remember evidence, evidence of the testimony from the kids in the hallway. Well, what happened was that was it, it appears to have been some sort of operation, some sort of what they were told was a drill. So they were they were being played. The kids were being used as pawns in this thing. Did people actually get shot? Are there 17 dead bodies? I don't think so. I don't think so. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what is there is a program called ROTC. How did they get the kids? Right? There's eight. There's eighteen hundred eighty thousand, hundred eighty thousand new military recruits per year, ages 17 to 25. Right? 180,000, right? How did they get them to do it? How did they get them to join the military, right? In high school, see, now I didn't know this. I thought ROTC was college, right? You go to college and you, you join the ROTC, but they have, the military's gone even deeper, even more disgusting. They go into high schools and they have something called JROTC, Junior ROTC, with an estimated 300,000 high school students enrolled in a military organized and run extracurricular activity in high school. Now, 
I, I find that disgusting. I, I mean, what are they teaching? They're teaching military arts. I love that word. Military arts. These are the, This is the art of the military where we have this very creative artistic bomb that blows these children and, and mothers and, and their grandmothers to pieces. Right? This is art. This is our art. This is called military art. See this tank? This tank can run over five buildings in one shot. This is fucking barbaric. It's but the kids are good, you know. Get the kids. You got to control the kids, like Hitler said. You know, if you control the youth, you control the future, right? So that's the demo. That's the Democrats' distraction. Guns, oh, gun violence, gun violence, gun violence. Fucking everybody's gonna. They, they want to shoot you. They want to kill you, right? It's the Republicans, the NRA. They want the Republicans. They want to. They want to. And meanwhile, they're they're, they're using. That smokescreen, so you don't pay attention to to the to their flaw. That's their distraction, the gun thing, and and oh, the mothers, all those poor mothers. But where are they? Where's put them on TV? Where's the fucking mother from from one Parkland killing? One, just show me one, just show me one mother. Let me let me see her face. Let me see her say, "My baby was shot." I just want to see it. That's all. Just show it to me. Right? So my name is Marcus Conti. I am. Um, Investigative journalist, reporter, blah, 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 commentator. I'm also co uh, candidate for United States Senator from New York. I'm, uh, <laughs> there'll be more, more about that coming soon. So, uh, so again, my platform, uh, what, what's my solution? I, I think that, I think that, w that our, our genre of news and commentators has to shift away from this bullshit, right? Because even if Clinton, I know it would feel good to see the Clintons, you know, finally come down for all the money they stole from people, the fact that they stole an election from Bernie Sanders and they gave us Trump, right? We'd all, we all want to see justice. We all want to see, you know, uh, uh, criminal justice return, but not at the bottom where you're dragging people off to jail for smoking pot, but the, the, the real criminals, the people that we're talking about, the people that circumvent very, very big laws that affect a lot of people. Right? That's what we want to see. So, again, I, I believe in, you know, based on what I just told you about military-industrial complex, I believe that we should reduce the military spending by 80%. Right? I also believe raising the corporate tax rate by 80%. It's a nice number, right, 80%. So you raise the corporate tax rate by 80%, and you hold these corporations to task, right? You get the money. you got to get the money. you got to stop them from bribing politicians, right? Term limits. Politicians that take the money, term limits. Two term, You get two terms, and they're two years per term, Senate and House of Representatives. Two years. If you're good, we'll, we'll reelect you, and then you, you can do another two years, and then you go, right? So also... Single payer health care is, is a must at this point because it, it brings down the, you know, big pharma, the pharmaceutical industrial complex. We got to stop that too, right? Because they're draining the economy with all the business, the, the middlemen and the, the, the insurance companies that are sucking the lifeblood out of, out, of, uh, out of us. Free college tuition at city and state universities. Absolutely, you have to do this. You have to give, you got to educate people and not. Say okay, the only way to get a college education is to join the military, and and if you can get out of there alive, then we'll give you a college education. It's fucking barbaric, man. It's a military police state, right? Right to bear arms, four day work week, right? And and look, look to my to my very very far left people, the the, the pink pussy hats and the and the the the, the um. The ultra liberals that think they know it all, the fucking the more degrees than the thermometer, right? Listen to me. If you want to get, I'm on your side with climate change. Yes, I, I'm not, a, you know, I don't have my head up my ass. I, I could see the sky and I know the research is in. I also know that, look, I, I, had a, I have a degree in, in, I have a background in, in, in medical and if you think that the research in terms of climate change is rigged, I, I got news for you. The, the, the research that, that doctors rely on for medical decisions that affect you is way more rigged. They pay off universities to get, you know, the answers that they want. And that's been going on for, for 50 years, right? 100 years, right? So it's, it's bad there. But if you think that, look, the, the, what I'm trying to say is that 
the 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 evidence is in on climate change. We know, and not only that, but we have the way out of it. It's wind, it's it's solar, it's using the tide for energy. There's so many ways to generate energy besides burning the you know sucking the fuel fuel out of the bottom of the ocean, right? And polluting the air, that's, that's, the la- that's a last resort, right? But you, you're not going to get the change unless you fix the political problem. The problem that I'm talking about, which is these giant smoke screens that make people like ExxonMobil so powerful, all the oil industries, the OPEC nations, right? right? That's what, that, you're not going to get, you don't get climate change unless you challenge these people and get them to stop stealing our money and controlling the narrative, right? So, close the FBI and the CIA. These organizations are corrupt. They, they, they're gone. They're supposed to, they work in secret. They're supposed to help us. They don't help us, right? They, they, they work against us, right? So, so, <laughs> so my name is Marcus Conti. Again, uh, I'm running for uh, U- United States Senator, and uh, I'll be more enthusiastic as the, as the time goes on. I'm going to be doing some outdoor events that I'll, uh, I'll talk about. I'll be filming them, too. So uh, peace out.